this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to our video tonight where we're going to be tying up a Adams Cripple Emerger pattern. Okay, This can be tied in a variety of different sizes. It's going to be fished extremely effective trailing behind a parachute Adams. It's also at times going to be the fly that your fish are going to key in on versus your parachute atoms so it's just how we fish it it's an extremely effective pattern we'd like to invite you to like the video leave us a comment and also hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified of any future videos we tie so for the hook today we're going to be using the moonlit tagata ml 101 size 14 these are from japan so we'll go ahead and put that hook in the vise here. The other cool thing about this pattern is, is I can change the color and do one for the purple haze and trail one of these behind my purple haze. I can trail one behind a PMD or a blue wing olive and that's going to allow me to fish that double setup there as well. So for our thread we're going to be using steel gray in the Semperfly Classic Wax, I'm using the Norvius Automatic Bobbin. I love this. Really, really effective. So, for this, today we're going to start at about three quarters of the way up the hook shank. And I like to start here because it helps me know where to stop my body. And I'm just going to use this tag end to help push each thread wrap up into the previous wrap as I wrap that rearward to the bend of the hook snip off that thread so for our tailing tail on this we're going to use Coke de Leon medium ginger this is the tailing pack this is my favorite tailing fibers here so I can do uh, fair amount I can make my tail a little bit thinner I don't like my tail to be too too big and bulky you could use Zelon for this pattern I just tend to prefer to have the CDL for my tail versus Zelon I could even add some Zelon into the tail of this pattern so I'm going to measure that out I'm going to tie this in you can see I was holding it at an angle there that's gonna as I wrap over pull my CDL onto the top I'm just gonna wrap forward and then I'm gonna clip this off where the end of my body is going to be and we'll secure that down now we'll go rearward again back to the tail okay once I get back there, I'm going to pull that tail up. I'm going to wrap behind it twice. This is just going to help secure that tail running straight vertical out the back instead of pointing down or anything else. Okay. So for the body on this fly, we're going to use Nature Spirit Muskrat Gray Turkey by it. So there's two sides. These ones have a thicker stem they're a little bit shorter I actually prefer these thinner stems that are longer on the other side okay so you just pull that out it's good to have these prepped and ready because you need to moisten these up so you can have a cup of water with your biots in them or a paper towel and that's going to help moisten them up so that they're more durable don't crack okay you can see there's two sides to this body by it okay there's the translucent side and then the darker side okay when I tie this in I want that translucent side to be facing downward. I'm going to tie it at an angle and the smaller the fly the further to the tip of this that I'm going to tie and that's just 
kind of figuring it out and each one of them is going to be a little bit different. Let me trim that out. Okay. Now I'm just going to take and create a taper to this body with some thread wraps going rearward and forward, wrapping back and forth, creating that taper. This is going to help give me a slim body profile to this fly, but still add a little bit of taper to it. Just half hitch that so I can use my rotary feature on my vise. Um, take my hackle pliers. So when I wrap this, oh, I need to put my glue down. So we use Loctite brush on glue. I don't need much, I just want to put a little on. This is going to help make this fly more durable and if I accidentally let go of the bite, it's not going to come completely undone. So when I wrap this, I want that semi-translucent side of that bayet to be facing the front of the hook. And the reason being is I'm going to use that translucent side of this bayet to actually guide me to help create a tapered ridge or rib on this fly. So you can see how by doing that I was able to create a nice seamless taper there. I'll just lock that off. Okay. Now I'm going to create a small little bulge on the back side. So I'm going to use Semperfly's Kapok dubbing. We're going to use this in the atoms. I don't need very much like a very very small fine amount. This is plenty right here. This is going to go on really really tight on this thread. Just kind of gives me a little bit of a thorax here. Helps kind of prop my wing up just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to take some Semperfly poly yarn. Okay. This is the iron blue. I'm just going to cut a strip off of this. You can see that's a pretty big strip. I don't need quite that much. Probably only need about half of that for this pattern. Okay. So I'm going to take I'm going to tie that in. I'm going to leave plenty of material out here at the front. I'm just going to kind of wrap that in on the top. I don't want to crowd the front of the eye of this hook. Give a little bit of space there. Now I'm going to trim off at an angle and give me a little bit of a shock on that wing case. Okay. Now we're going to take Whiting Farms Dark Bar Ginger. Okay. I'm going to tie in a piece of that. Tie that in so that it's standing pretty much straight up. One wrap behind, two wraps behind that's going to help stand that stem up when I go to wrap it. Now I'm just going to take and bend this so that 
I can wrap that with my dark side of my hackle going forward. I'm just going to wrap this and fill in this here. If I don't leave room on that eye, it's easy for me to crowd this at this point. So I'm just going to wrap two wraps, pull it back, and give it two more wraps. Now I'm going to take and trim my hackle off. I really, really like this dark bar ginger. This is probably my go to hackle color for my dries. Okay, so you can see I left that long so I can pull that back. Take my hackle pliers here or my whip finish tool. I'm going to get that ready to start. Pull it all back. Now I can do a three turn whip, two and three. That's going to actually help kind of stand that poly yarn up right there. Okay, I'm going to take and I'm going to pull this up along this hackle here. Okay, I'm just going to trim that off just a little bit longer than the tops of my hackle. Okay, now I can trim off the underside hackle here and it will ride right on that surface. I actually prefer to leave my hackle if I and not getting any fish, I'll trim that off stream side, but I always try and start this way. This fly is going to ride nice and low in the water. Okay, so that's going to give you a really nice natural look to this bug. I really, really like that. Plus, the low riding profile, in my opinion, increases my hook, hook rates. As the hook points under the water, it hooks in there a little bit better. So... I can change this pattern up. I can tie it in purple to trail behind a purple haze. I can tie it for a PMD to trail behind a PMD or I can trail a blueing olive one as well. So I can I can do this in a multitude of different colors to change patterns. So again, make sure and leave a comment and like the video and subscribe so you can get more future videos. We appreciate you watching for with us tonight. Have a great evening. Make sure and hit the subscribe button, then the bell, and hit all so you can receive all notifications from us. And don't forget to hit thumbs up and comment on our posts.